So in this final part, we're going to look at how to view all the players that have been entered into the into the program for the football coach, and also how to update the players, which would basically mean how do we view everything that's been stored in a dictionary, and also how do we update a dictionary. So very key things that undoubtedly um, you're going to come across having to do. So let's have a look at that. Let's go all the way down to the view all um, function down here. Now this is very simple. For view all, effectively what we want to do is just print everything that's in, in the dictionary. And remember the dictionary, the name of the dictionary is player info, which is a global variable up at the top. So to do this, remember a dictionary has keys and values. So we're just going to say four keys and values. You can say four kv for simplicity, but I'm just going to print out the whole thing in player info dot items print the keys and the values. I'm just going to add a little print there so it has a space before the main menu comes back. So if we test that, I can add a player first. So let's add one player for, to keep it simple. Let's view all the players and it doesn't quite do it. Now, I'm going to give you a second to think about why it doesn't. So, 3 should be taking me to view all. Let's just check to see if that's happening. And you can see there's an error there. So, 3 is actually taking me to update and 4 is taking me to view all. So, that that and you're going to come across making mistakes like this all the time so let's start again let's add a player and let's just add one and now I'm going to view all hopefully it will work and you can see that there's just one player in this particular example and you can see the goals that he's had obviously if I had more it would have printed that now that's relatively simple, so we're going to move on now into the update. Now this is going to be an interesting one. Suppose the football coach um, had made a mistake, that could be one example, and he'd, he'd actually put in that Jonathan um, had scored one goal from match, this match one, or maybe he'd made a mistake, he just wants to update everything. How would you do that? Obviously you need to actually go back to the dictionary and update what you've done for that particular player. So how would we do that? I'm going to code this for you, have a think about what's happening. So first of all, we're going to ask for the player name that the coach wants to refer to. Which player do you wish to update, your goals you wish to update? And obviously they're going to have to enter in the different matches again, so I'm going to have to do that. A new entry for match one going to cut and paste that. Two, three, cut and pasting is wonderful. And then I'm going to have a little if function which says if player name is in the player info, now obviously if it's in the dictionary then you can have, you can build in validation. I'm just going to keep it simple for now. If it is indeed in the dictionary then you want to update the dictionary so there's our dictionary, and you're updating it for the key which has been entered, which is this particular, say it's Jonathan or whoever it is. And then you want to actually add to the dictionary the new updated information. So match one goals, remember you're doing this to the list M1, which is the variable M1. missing you can be you can be very careful right so let's have a look at this 
it says invalid syntax, which simply means I've made some sort of mistake over here. And this is, it gets very tricky when you're dealing with a dictionary and nested things, etc. But really, I think what the problem is, is that I have a comma there instead of that. Let's see if that works. And it does. So let's do a full test. I'm going to add two players. I'm going to add Mr. Moose, which is a wonderful name, and another player, Mr. Goose. I'm going to view all player records, and it does show me the dictionary. And then I could search for a player. This was covered in one of the previous videos, so I could search for Mr. Moose, and it tells me what his average goals are. And finally, now Mr. Moose scored one, four, and two, but suppose I wanted to update that information for Mr. Moose, and I could make it, I could be a bit crazy and say that he's done something like that. Now, if I now try to view the player information, you can see that that has in fact been updated. So we've got a complete little program. Obviously, it's slightly nonsensical, but it does give an idea for types of programs that you might be asked to build, starting with a main menu and doing things, very clever things, with dictionaries. And dictionaries are wonderful. There's so much you could do with them. And remember, the key with dictionaries is that in a dictionary, you have a key and you have a value. And a value doesn't have to just be a single value, it can actually be a list or a dictionary itself, and those are called nested dictionaries.